We begin conversions with conversion tables. Conversion tables are the key to solving measurement problems. Because sometimes we live in the past, most countries have more than one measurement system. We have two. The old one is called customary. The most recent one, it has only been around for more than 130 years, is called metric. In here, we cover three types of units, length, weight, and capacity. So because three types of units are covered using two systems, in reality, we are covering six units, customary length, weight, and capacity, and metric length, weight, and capacity. Now, the method that is used to make conversion and solve problems goes by the name of dimensional analysis. Dimensional analysis is the way to convert units by the use of ratios. For example, convert 78 inches to feet. In order to do this, follow this procedure. Number one, write a ratio of the given unit over one. In this case, it is 78 inches over 1. 2. Multiply ratio by another ratio with the given unit in the denominator. That's the bottom part. And the unit to convert to in the numerator. That's the top part. 3. Using the conversion tables, decide which unit is larger and place a 1 with the larger unit. And the conversion factor with the smaller unit. In this case, it is 12. 4. Cancel the name of the given units. Multiply and divide to get the answer. 78 times 1 is 78. 1 times 12 is 12. 78 divided by 12 equals 6.5 feet, which are the units left in the proportion. Another example. Convert 20 quarts to cups. 20 quarts over 1 times 4 cups in 1 quart. Cancel the quarts. 20 times 4 is 80. 80 cups is the answer. Another example. Convert 500 milligrams to grams. 500 milligrams over 1 times 1 gram equals 1,000 milligrams. 500 times 1 equals 500. 1 times 1,000 equals 1,000. Divide 500 by 1,000. 0.5 grams is the answer. Now let's try converting compound units. A compound unit has more than one unit. For example, speed in miles per hour is a compound unit because it contains miles and hours. Compound units may also be converted using dimensional analysis by converting one unit at a time. Another example, convert 55 miles per hour to feet per second. 55 miles per one hour times 5,280 feet in one mile, times one hour has 3,600 seconds. Cancel miles. Cancel hours. 55 times 5,280 divided by 3,600 equals 80.7 feet per second. Now, sometimes we need to convert from a customary unit to a metric unit, or vice versa. Converting from customary to metric or metric to customary units requires to convert between two measuring systems. Use dimensional analysis and the metric to customary conversion table to do it. Only one unit per standard of measurement is needed. Length, weight, or capacity. In here, the conversion in length will take place from inches to centimeters. In weight, from pounds to grams. And in capacity, from quarts to Two liters. For example, convert 8,000 feet to meters. Because the conversion table uses inches for length, convert 8,000 feet to inches first. 8,000 feet over 1 times 12 inches over 1. Cancel feet. Multiply 8,000 times 12 and you get 96,000 inches. Next, convert inches to centimeters. 96,000 inches over 1 times 2.54 centimeters per 1 inch. Cancel inches. Multiply 96,000 times 2.54. You get 243,840 centimeters. Finally, convert centimeters to meters. 
243,840 centimeters over 1 times 1 meter per 100 centimeters. Cancel centimeters. Multiply and divide. 243,840 by 100. The answer is 2,438.4 meters. Another two units we use in everyday life measure temperature. To measure temperature using the metric system, the scale is called Celsius, while the scale to measure temperature in customary units is called Fahrenheit. To convert and build a table from Celsius to Fahrenheit, the following equation is necessary. Degrees Fahrenheit equals 9 over 5 times degrees Celsius plus 32. Notice that this is a linear equation where the y-intercept is 32 and the slope is 9 over 5. In the graph, we can see that when the value of C equals 0, F equals 32. And when the value of F equals 0, the value of C is negative 17.8. They both have the same value at negative 40. Let's do a couple of examples. Convert normal body temperature, 37 degrees Celsius, to degrees Fahrenheit. F equals 9 over 5 times 37, plus 32. Multiply 9 times 37. Divide by 5. Add 32. The answer is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. For the second example, convert the boiling point of water. 212 degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. 212 equals 9 over 5 times C plus 32. Subtract 32 from both sides. Cross multiply and divide by 9. C equals 100 degrees Celsius.